Hey guys, this is Todd with SubjectMoney.com and what I'm going to do here is a quick count if tutorial in Microsoft Excel and I'm going to show you some uh, examples that I think could potentially replicate uh, situations that you may come across where you need to use the count if function in uh, real world situations. So um, what is the count if function? The count if function basically it filters out a, uh, well, you search a range of cells, the function searches a range of cells, and then within that range of cells, it's going to find certain cells that contain um, a specific criteria or condition, and then it will count all the cells that contain the condition that you want to filter out, filter to, and it will count them for you. So that's why it's count if. Count if this cell contains your criteria for example um, count the number of cells that contain the word orange all right so i think you get the idea it's pretty simple let's use some let's just actually put it into practice so um, what the count if function is going to do is answer questions so you can ask questions and then you can um, answer those questions using the count if function so here's the first question we have how many roof repairs were sold out of the south office? So instead of us going through here and counting, here we have our acronym key. So like the first letter represents what type of industry, the second letter represents what type of work, and then the third letter represents what office. So this question wants to know how many roof repairs were sold out of the south office. Okay, so instead of us going and counting, what is it? It's roof, R, P for repair, and then S for south. So instead of us going through and counting every time RPS occurs, the acronym RPS, we can just use the count if function. So I'm going to select the cell where I want to find my result. Then I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to click on the insert function button. Now you can do a search for count if go and now you have count if and count ifs. We're going to select count if and we'll get into count ifs later. Okay, click OK and now you're going to select your range of cells. So the first function argument is the range of cells that you want to search for your criteria in. So our range of cells is going to be our um, like our job type and that will be our acronym and that will be column C so we're going to search column C for our criteria which is going to be roof repairs out of the south office so our criteria will be the acronym R for roofing P for repair S for south so now we're going to type in R P S so that's the acronym for roof repairs out of the south office. We click OK and we'll get our number there. So the south office only sold two roof repairs for the uh, first quarter in this example. They need to step up their game. All right, so let's uh, use the count if function for another qu example, question example. How many HVAC replacements were sold out of the north office? All right, so again, we're going to enter our uh, count if function. We go up to, we can go into our formulas bar also, and we can click insert function. And again, our insert function dialog box pops up. We're going to select count if. And our range this time, what are we searching for? Well, our range is going to be, again, our uh, job type. So column C. And our criteria, what's the question? HVAC replacements out of the north office. So H for HVAC, R for replacement, and then N for the north office. And it looks like we only sold one HVAC replacement out of the north office. So at this rate, this company is not doing too well. Okay, so now what's another question? How many deals were sold by Todd? Todd is a sales rep. So you can see right here. That's not me, though. It's another Todd. All right. So let's use our count if function to find out how many deals were sold by the sales rep, Todd. 
we're going to click on insert function. We're going to select count if, press OK. And our range of cells this time is going to be column B, and that is because column B is our sales rep column. All right. Our criteria is going to be Todd. Click OK. And Todd sold nine deals for the first quarter. Not great. That's why it's not me. All right. Okay, let's use the count if function in some examples where we might search for the number of contracts that were greater than or less than a specified number. All right, so here's a question. How many jobs were sold with a deal size greater than $10,000? So again, we're going to select our cell where we want to enter, where we want to see our results. Then we're going to click on insert function. We're going to select count if. Okay, and our range of cells this time is going to be contract price because we're searching for contracts that were greater than $10,000. Our criteria this time will be greater than and then the number 10,000. Click OK. All right, so we had 16 deals total in the first quarter that were greater than $10,000. And we can do the same for less than. We're going to select our cell where we want to see our results. Click the insert function. Click on count if and click OK. Our range of cells again is the contract price. And our criteria this time is less than 10,000. And we sold 29 jobs that were less than $10,000. All right, let's try some other examples. Now we have, uh, let's use some examples using uh, our wildcard characters. So the wildcard characters are like the asterisk or the uh, question mark. Okay, so let me briefly explain wildcard characters. The, a wildcard character within a criteria is going to say, if you have, like an example, here's the, uh, the first syntax. If you have the asterisk in front of a string of letters or one letter or one character or a string of characters, what it's saying is anything can be where the asterisk is. So any number of characters, whatever you have, you can have anything you want there. But what you're searching for must end, in this case, I-N-G. Okay, and if you have the asterisk after, then it's saying search for anything that has the letters I-N-G in a row, I-N-G, and they can end with anything that they want there with the, where the asterisk is. So, but it must start with ing. In this case, you could uh, put the letter s, and then basically you would just be searching for any string of text or characters that start with the letter s. And where the asterisk is, they can have anything they want. All right. Uh, in this case, you would just be searching for any um, condition that has the letter G in it. So there could be anything before the letter G and anything after the letter G, but the letter G must be in there. Um, you could have the word gear, and then it's only going to filter out strings of text that don't have the word gear in it. So it's only going to find or count um, cells that contain the word gear. They can have anything before the word gear, and it can have anything after the word gear. And then with the question mark in the uh, middle, there can be any characters after I and before G. So it could say inning, like in baseball, that's going to pop up. But you could have the word enter, and that word will be filtered out. So the string of text must start with the letter I, and they must end with the letter G. If I were to change that G to an R, then inning would be filtered out, but enter would be counted within your criteria. All right, so that's a brief explanation of um, our wildcards that we're going to use in our example. Okay, so now let's actually use the wildcards in the count if function. 
Okay, so right over here, you can see I have some uh, questions. How many roofing jobs were there? Okay, so we want to know how many roofing jobs. Well, over here, our acronyms, they have roofing. We have different types of jobs, and then we have different offices. So we're going to have to filter out some of these uh, results. And the way we do that is with our wildcard characters. So roofing jobs, we know, starts with the letter R. So we're going to click on our cell just like we did before. And we're going to click on the insert function dialog box. And we're going to select count if. All right, our range of cells. Let me zoom out. Our range of cells is going to be our job type. And then our criteria this time is going to be R because the acronym must start with R. And then we're going to put an asterisk. So as long as it starts with R, that means it's a roofing job. This question doesn't ask out of what office. It doesn't ask what type of uh, job like repair or replacement. It just wants to know how many roofing jobs. So R asterisk, that's our criteria, roofing jobs. We click OK. All right, so we performed 22 roofing jobs. Um, and that was out of all offices and all types of jobs. Here's another question. How many repairs from all industries? How many repairs from all industries? So that could be an HVAC repair, electric repair, or a roofing repair. All right, so we're going to click again our insert function dialog box. We're going to select count if, press OK. And again, our range is going to be our job type, but our criteria this time, what was the question? The question is how many repairs from all industries? So we're going to put an asterisk, and that means because it can have any letter there because it's, it can come from any industry. All right, but we need it, the second letter to be P for repair. And then following it can come out of any office, north, central, or south. So again, we're going to put our asterisk. We click OK, and we did a total of 21 repairs for all industries that we perform services in. OK, and the third question is, how many total jobs were sold out of the South office? All right, so how many total jobs were sold out of the South office? Let's insert our function, count if, click OK. Our range of cells, again, is going to be column C, our job type. But this time, we're going to have asterisk, and then we said what? The South Office S. So it means the acronym must end with the letter S. And we're going to click OK. And we sold 15 jobs out of the South Office. So you can see how this is a lot easier than going through and just counting um, all of these. And imagine this is a short, a short list. Imagine if this list was just thousands of rows. You talk about saving a lot of time. Okay, uh, so now let's do the count ifs function. So the count ifs function, we are going to be able to filter multiple criteria. All right, so the question is how many electric jobs were sold by Mike? So we're going to click where we want to see our results, click on the insert function, and this time let's do a search for count if. Press OK, and there's the count ifs. All right, so our criteria range. First, we're going to select our sales. What was the question? How many roofing jobs were sold, or how many electric jobs were sold by Mike? All right, so our range is going to be our job type, and our criteria is going to be electric jobs, so it must start with E, and anything can follow E, because in our acronyms, electric starts with E. All right, our criteria range two, we want, Mike is going to be our sales rep, so we want to know how many electric jobs were sold by Mike, so our criteria range two is going to be sales reps, and then criteria two is Mike. And that's it. We want to count how many roofing or how many electric jobs were sold by Mike. Click OK. 
and our answer is 3. All right, now here's another question. How many electric jobs were sold by Todd? Let's try this again. Insert function. Click on the count ifs. And our first range of sales, we can do this any way we want. So now let's start with the sales rep. All right, our sale, we're going to click on column B. That's going to be our criteria range. And we are searching for Todd within that criteria. All right, now our second criteria range is going to be job type. And then we are searching for acronyms that start with the letter E, making them electric jobs. So now we're filtering it by how many total jobs were sold by Todd. And then we're going to filter it down even more by searching for how many electric jobs were sold by Todd. We're going to click OK. And the number is zero. All right, so Todd's not an electrician. OK, so there's some uh, pretty detailed examples of how to use the count if function. I think once you are done with this tutorial, which you should be by now if you're listening, you're going to easily be able to find out different scenarios where you could use the count if function in uh, real world situations. And like I said, it's really going to help when you're searching potentially thousands of different um, items. That's really, and you want to know like the number, that's really going to help you out. And you can also do it in tables, but then you would have to, uh, like I'll show you a quick example. I can insert a table. I could convert this to a table and you can do the same thing. The, the you can filter. So it's kind of performing the same function. Um, you would need a totals row down here. All right. And then out here. For, let's say for the type of job, you can go to count. All right, so we did a total of 46 jobs, and then you can filter it out. So it's doing the same thing. Let's say we want to filter out roofing. Um, what, what, let's do one right here. Roof repairs out of the south office. So that would be RPS. So we could filter it out by RPS by selecting here. Let's clear them. And now let's only select RPS. And then our count would be the same too. But if you had a, if you just wanted to have all of the answers right there in one column that you could search, you could create like what we did a separate um, box here with all of your questions and all of your answers right there. Instead of whoever's looking at this, your boss might want this report and he doesn't want to have to manually, he or she doesn't want to have to manually go in here and do all the sorting and filtering him, him or herself. Um, you can have all the questions that he wants and the he or she wants, and you can have all of your answers right there for he or she to look at. All right. So that concludes this tutorial. Please check out my other videos. And of course, if you want to get more informative tutorials like this, subscribe and like. Thank you.